This is the vacuform headpiece. You, you see there's uh, some propoxy, which is a, a two-part epoxy um, compound, uh, holding some rare earth magnets onto the, the vacuform headpiece, which has been uh, taken from a copy of Charlie's Life Cast. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit this on like a glove, right? And Steve, if you can grab me the headpiece, I want to make sure before I adhere this that it's going to line up with the sockets for the horns on the back of the headpiece. So I'm just going to drape this on. That's where those would go. I'm lining up. Uh, I don't know, there we go, let me rotate this around. You see that? I'm lining up where the sockets are inside the headpiece. I'm going to bring that forward a little bit, make sure that's okay. I'm going to have to cut this away, Chris. Uh, I just want to make sure... It's almost feeling to me like this needs to rotate. How does that feel? Good. It's important to ask your actor, go ahead and keep your head still, rotate on top of you, to ask your actor how, they, uh, how, the, how the pieces are feeling to them. Uh, especially in this case because Charlie has been through this before and it was very successful last time. So if it doesn't feel the same, he's going to let me know, uh, which means that I need to adjust somewhere. But okay, now you can see we've got all of our rare earth magnets exposed to the various ports on the head, which means that our vacuform headpiece is in the right place. So I can take this off, give it to Steve. All right, so I'm going to lock this on. This is where we want it to be. What I'm going to do first is uh, I'm going to do a quick line where our vacuform headpiece goes, All right? A little bit in the back just to guide. Okay, so we can take this off. Steve, I will let you hold that temporarily. And then we're going to get that big brush, the big glue brush. We'll get a new one. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that. All right. Okay. And I'm going to lock the vacuform headpiece down. Okay. It just needs to be slightly adhered. Uh, it doesn't need to be bolted down. So I'm just going to do the top. Let's find out where those other glue brushes went. Okay, and now I know where this goes. So the key is nailing it in the first shot, which I didn't. Yeah, laugh. <laughs> and now it's moving. See? <laughs> but look at that, huh? While it was moving. Now that's bang on. I'm done. <laughs> All right. So that's... <laughs> okay, so there we go. That headpiece has been adhered. Does that feel... Yep. There we go. We're, we're locked in. Now we're going to move on to ears. Steve, maybe you can do... Uh, one side as I do another. All right. So we got a little bit of a strange fold right there. Is there any risk of brain damage with these rare earth magnets? Is Charlie That's a okay? fine <laughs> thing to ask. <laughs> no, it no. Seems like he's got a thick skull, but I'm a little concerned. <laughs> well, it is <laughs> thick. Just beneficial brain damage. Is there such a thing? There we go. All righty. Um, all right, Steve-O. All right. Let's start doing some ears. Okay. Here, you kind of place it, and then I'll confirm. All right. All righty. Chris, can I get you to man the glue? OK, 
Okay, just tacking it in on the top edge. Ears are tricky things. Yep, that's it. Take a look at it from the front, but that looks like it. I'm just, there we go. Yeah, no, he's good. I'll keep working on this one. Just make sure, Steve, that yeah. this area, it's almost like it wants it to, do to come that. down like yes, that. Yes, exactly. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Which one's which? That's glue, right? We yeah, need more glue. Yeah. You'll notice this brush that I'm using. I've broken and bent at an angle, which allows me to get up and under. Feel free to take your material, your equipment, your tools, and bend them into any shape that you need. Yeah, it's, you know what? Yes, it is propoxy. It's the same material that's holding these magnets onto Charlie's head. Aside from the magnet that's already in there. This is where it really comes in handy. Imagine if that brush was straight. I don't know if you can see that that close, but if that brush was straight, I'd never be able to get in. Now I can just swoop in under it. You know, and if I wanted a brush that did that, almost came back in a U, then I would make one of those. If you find you need something like that, grab your favorite brush, bend it, either super glue it or propoxy it, and you'll be the hit of the neighborhood. People will be like, what? I've never seen that. Hi, nice, Steve. Good. Better than my side. Joel? Yes? Uh, was Baldies used or Super Baldies used? No. Regular Baldies was used. Yeah, we don't use a lot of the Super Baldies. See, so here we go. See, there's a little bit of an edge there, right? So I'll go in and dig in under that edge, right? And then take a little bit of powder. Not a stomper. And knock it down. Huh? What do you think of that? When stuff like that works, it makes me excited. So, Charlie, what made you want to go under something like this? Well, I had no idea it'd be something like this. I didn't. <laughs> Just as long as it don't keep me from hearing the sweet stuff. <laughs> Who's that, me? No, oh, yeah, <laughs> right. <clears throat> Joshua was wondering if you created the bald cap or is it a generic bald cap? It's, you know what, it's, this is an MEL, yes? Mm -hmm. This is a bald cap that we purchased from uh, Makeup Effects Lab. And Steve, you want to talk about what it's made out of? I know it's vinyl, but is there silicone no, in it? I think it, or? this one is just a pure vinyl one. I know they've, they've made them with uh, like a hybrid. This one is pure vinyl. It's, it's fairly thick, so it's strong, it doesn't split, and uh, they work really well. Okay. So, yeah, short answer, no, we uh, purchased the cap. We'll uh, find the URL for Mel for you guys and put it in the chat mm -hmm. box. I think you can buy these right online. You can, yes, and I highly recommend them. They're you know, we've used a lot of caps, and these are some of the best. 
Thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. As your side, take a look. Yeah, it's great, man. Good, good. Yeah, just powder it. All right, good. Oh, that's really good. All right. Okay, let's go uh, back of the head, yes?